Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps updates roundup number 70 and in this episode I'm going to show you 15 new changes in 8 different Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with YouTube as it got 4 new changes. The first one is in the floating buttons on the home feed. When the video starts to autoplay you will notice here that the unmute button and the captions are now circular with the fill color around them. They are bigger and they are oriented vertically instead of being horizontal. The second change is in the media player. When you start playing a video and then tap and hold on it, you will notice here that the video is playing in 2x speed. And this is a really nice addition. I started to use it a lot because it makes it easier for you and instead of double tapping, like this and sometimes you miss a specific moment but if you just want to fast forward quickly all you need to do is to tap and hold on the video. Google also added two new sections to the home feed of the YouTube app that I took screenshots for. The first one is called watch it again and here you will see some of the videos you already watched on the app and the second one is called featured but it has the premium flag on the left so it seems like a premium feature and here it says catch up on your latest downloads which means if you have the smart downloads feature activated, you might see this section on your home feed. And finally, the app widgets got a new mic icon next to the search bar that didn't exist before. The next app we have is Google Photos and the first change is in the share sheet. Now you will see the suggested contacts at the top. Also the nearby share and create link buttons got slightly redesigned with a border around them and then all the other apps will come next. The second change is in memories and now when you start playing a memory and then tap and hold to pause it, now you will see a play button at the top right corner to make it more obvious for you how to start playing again. Also sliding between the photos in the memory got a different animation when you swipe left and right. Next, Google Messages. And the first change is under Messages Settings and then Swipe Actions. And now you will see a new option called Mark as Read or Unread, which means you can mark the message as read or unread with a simple swipe like this. And this is how it looks. The second change is in the photos picker. Now you can share the photos in a specific order by tapping on them and you will see here it will give you a number on top of each photo. So if you want to share them in a specific order you can do this which is similar to iMessage on iOS. Now let's talk about the Google Home app on Wear OS as it got plenty of new changes. The first one is on the front page and now we will see things organized differently. It will first start with your favorites list and this will match your Google Home app on the mobile phone. After that it will show you only five devices and a new view all button. When you tap on it will show you the full list in the same page. After that we have devices and here you will see your smart devices organized by room. Here I have the bedroom and living room. Then we have automations to start any of your routines immediately. And finally we have settings to change your Google account or check the legal information. But what's more exciting here is in the way you can control your lights now. When you tap and hold on the tile of your smart light now you have the color temperature where you can adjust it immediately from here and it will give you a name for the color temperature here at the bottom of the screen. On top of this you can also change the color of your light by using this color picker and drag your finger over it and it will also show you the name of the color. And finally if you have a Nest Hub and casting media to it you might be able to skip tracks and adjust the volume and instead of only adjusting the volume like before but unfortunately I don't have this device to show you how it works. Next we have Google Contacts and now Google started to roll out the birthday notifications. When you go to your Google Contacts app and then go to the highlights page you will see this new banner that will ask you to add birthdays for your contacts to get notified to call them or send them a text message and when you tap on it it will show you here all the contacts that doesn't include birthdays so you can tap on this button and it will allow you to immediately put the uh, birthday and also choose to get notified or not for each contact. Next, nearby share. And now when you try to share anything using the feature you will see here in the card at the bottom a new pill shaped button that will show you the phone's name and also the profile picture of the Google account used. When you tap on this button 
it will show you the settings page of nearby share immediately instead of going to it from the settings app or the quick settings style and that will make it easier for you next google app got a small tweak now when you go to the google app settings and then notifications you will see a redesigned page that will allow you to turn some notifications on or off as you see it looks much better than before and the last change i'm going to show you in this episode is in google one app now when you go to the vpn page you will see your network information over here it will show you the ip address and the internet service provider name so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes i wanted to show you and if you spotted any new feature in any google app please let me know on social media or in the comments below so i can include in my future episodes but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video